Here we go, folks. This is going to be the uh, foundation layout. And this is what I had to do in order to get this so uh, with this elevation like this because we're working it uh, 80 inches. It'll be 80 inches to the top of the footer on, on this lower side right here. And it's going to be three courses, three courses on this upper side. So you've got 10 block, three block. A lot of, lot of distance, you know, a lot of difference between, you know, one, one side and the other. So what I did is I, I, I measured off of the property line over and got the house square with the property line and that squared it with the road. We're shortening a little bit of a curve, but it's it's close enough. I, I'd rather it be, you know, squared up with the property line itself. But anyway, um, I got these two lines established where I wanted them. Okay, these are running parallel. They're 32 foot apart exactly. Now, all I do then is I figure out where I want this corner Mark. Just disregard this string. Just, just pretend like we didn't even have this string right here ran. Okay. All I did was I said, okay, I want the corner of the house to start right here. So I made a mark. You can take a little old Sharpie or something and make a mark on this string. All right. You measure 48 foot from that mark down, because that's the size of the house. You make another mark on that, you know, on that end of the house, on that string down there. What I did is I measured off of this mark over to the string that's running parallel with it. I think it was like 54 feet. It really doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be any certain measurement or anything. All you want it to do is, is get a mark down there, you know, right, on, right as close to the batter board as you can get it. And then another one I measured from that corner 54 feet and made a mark on this side. Now, then you take your 100 foot tape and you measure from that 54 foot mark to that 54 foot mark, get the center of this line over here. So you made your 54 foot mark here off of that corner, and you made your 54 foot mark here to that corner. You got the center between those two marks. You measure 24 foot that way because that's half of the house, and then 24 or you know, 24 foot that way. So it's 48 foot, you've got your marks every time this comes out to be within if you hold your tape and don't pull that string you just got to hold your tape solid let somebody else make the mark and they're not pulling the string you will be within an eighth of an inch and it just makes life so much easier so much easier so then you can run that string and then that string and then you can cross measure it and make sure but it's within an eighth quarter of an inch every time sometimes even better I have had them within a sixteenth of an inch. So that's how I did that right there. Shot it with the transit, you know, to get it to get all this level. And with that height down there, I had to drive stobs because I didn't want to be up on a ladder driving the stobs for the foundation. So I just screwed the two befores to the edge and it's just some old rotten sawmill, you know, some sawmill stuff I had left over. So I've been sitting out there in the weather. But for batter boards, it's plenty good. Got everything braced up because you don't want you don't want these crosses to move at all because your block are gonna be lay, laid to this string right here. And that's what we're gonna do. We're pouring the concrete and laying block up to this string. We'll end up capping the top of the block with a, a two by eight to uh, keep the termites from getting into the, you know, the foundation, a treated, a pressure treated two by eight will cap it. Now we will put uh, lags in the uh, block and bolt the foundation, bolt the two by eight to the, uh, to the block but right now we're working on uh, digging these footers and uh, getting this done we just went live and we had a little incident with that but uh, we got that figured out and now we're gonna get to this foundation you know get to digging these uh, footers uh, putting rebar in step downs get ready for block and uh, we'll get y'all caught up I'm gonna try to start uh, doing this more periodically you know keeping y'all caught up on what's going on you know and explain the step downs you think i should go ahead and explain the step downs what's up to you well i did it in the live one a little bit a little bit yeah not like we did in the other one okay well these right here are step downs in the in the slab they're 16 inch, 16 to 18 inches wide on these footers oh what i'll do is i'll end up putting a board i'll just dig in right here and i'll set this board all of these are eight inches thick, so everything off of this string is going to be in eight inch increments. And I will drive uh, rebar 
grade stakes in, you know, that way I don't have to measure. When I'm pouring that concrete, I'll have a, a, a grade stake sticking up just like that. And I just pour the concrete right to the top of it. And that way I'm not constantly pulling a tape measure. The whole time I'm trying to pull, pour a concrete, I'm not pulling that tape and, and just wasting time. I can just pour it right up to the board. The board will be sitting right here. The rebar will come off the rod chairs straight down, hook into the rod chairs and the rebar down here and just keep going and just like step door steps going straight on down the hill. But uh, all of this will be eight inches thick and uh, these boards will come out before they lay the block and then that'll keep, uh, we don't want any kind of termites or anything like that drawn to, you know, any more than the pine roots we got all in the ground around here that we've been cutting and digging through, let me tell you. It's been tough. There's some of them in here that big around too, but we're getting it. We're going to get it done pretty quick. We started on it. I started on the uh, the strings yesterday, and uh, well, you see how much is dug. We've got uh, three quarters of the outside. We do have two runs of... Granddaddy was here helping too. Yeah, I had, had Daddy and my uh, nephew come in uh, yesterday afternoon and helped, helped some too, and uh, now I've got Hannah fixing to put her on the working end of one of these scoops and see what she can't move around, move some of this dirt around for me. But uh, we got two runs of pillars that goes in the middle right here, and I'm trying to keep them. You know, I try to keep pillars uh, 10 foot, 10 to 12 foot max uh, apart, you know, on on all of these uh, interior pillars, you know, for uh, just support. But it looks really good. Better than I can do with a machine. I know it's tough with a scoop, but uh, it just turns out it makes a neater job to me if I do it with a shovel. That's why we've always done it this way. It's it's not the easiest way, but uh, if if you saw me on a track hoe right now, you'd say, "Man, why aren't you digging that by hand?" Because it would it would probably be rough. Yeah, and we'd be wasting concrete trying to fill up a hole that wide because I don't think I could keep it that straight and uh, neat and everything. Adding dirt and taking away it just be. It's just better off for, for us to do it like this. I'm not good enough with a machine, probably. So, uh, so right now we're gonna finish up the the outside footers. We're gonna dig the the pillars inside or footings inside, and uh, get a you know get all the rebar in the step downs done. Pour the concrete. Got a block layer coming in next week. Oh. I think it's going to be around 1200 block to get this thing done something like that the inside pillars and all on these pillars down here in the bottom where we're so tall i'm going to go ahead and double those up and make them 16 inches instead of just eight by 16. you know just to give it added support and uh probably when we get up here in the front we could probably just go with a single because we won't be like three or four block high but uh hey that's what we're working on right now hope y'all uh Hang in there. We're going, I'll try to keep y'all caught up on what's going on. Appreciate y'all.